All right, if you're a parent of a young child, then you worry every time you hear this. My tummy hurts. Oh, but sometimes <laughs> you can't tell if they're just trying to play hooky from school or if there's a real serious problem to deal with. So here with signs to watch out for and to help you figure out when you should see a doctor is Kara Cordonen, Health Director for Parents Magazine. And also joining us is Dr. Jennifer Trachtenberg. Dr. Jen, an assistant clinical professor at Mount Sinai School of Medicine. Hi, ladies. Good morning, guys. Hi. It's got to be a little scary when a young child says oh my god my tummy hurts because you you know you could understand where a kid doesn't want to go to school but how do you know if it's a real issue that you should be mm -hmm. worried about well I mean if there are no symptoms if there's no physical symptoms and you think it could be stress related then you might want to go ahead and and send them to school be prepared for the call from mm -hmm. the school nurse but mm -hmm. you know if there are no physical symptoms then right but if you do hear that there's fever or they're vomiting or right. there's lots mm -hmm. of diarrhea obviously you want to keep them home so let's start with the common <laughs> problem I'm, just, I'm sorry say it constipation. constipation. Yeah. Um, how can you tell if your kid is suffering from this? Well, what's interesting is parents think that if your child doesn't have a bowel movement every day, they could be constipated. But really, if they have, it's really if they have like fewer than three a week, then you have to worry. Mm -hmm. Okay. And right. so also other things that you can look out for is their belly may be sticking out more. Mm -hmm. It might be hard or it might hurt them. Um, when they do go to the bathroom, it is hard. Maybe like little marbles or little pebbles. Uh -huh. And when they wipe, there may be some blood on the toilet paper, oh. which could be scary. And yeah. you say fiber is one of those things you, they should just get more of in their yeah. diet. Oh, right. You really want to prevent the constipation from right. happening in the first place. So I have a little rule of thumb for fiber. Um, requirements for kids. So basically, if you take your child's age and you add five to ten grams, then that's how much they need. So, for example, if you have a five-year-old, mm -hmm. they should get ten to fifteen grams oh, of fiber that's per day. Good. Yeah. How and, easy! And this is—I know—that's kind of brilliant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 the math. So also, you know, some kids and. I unfortunately was like this as a little child, only like to use their own mm -hmm. toilet. Yeah, you know, there's a privacy yes. thing. So any tricks for that? Well, that is really common. And really what you want to start with young kids is to have good bowel habits and a routine every single day. So really try to get your kids to go to the bathroom after meals. Because if you go after meals, you have this extra normal reflex that makes you go to the bathroom. Mm. So it's easier to go. Mm -hmm. So they are less likely to have adverse, you know, sitting what, on the toilet. Yeah, so what about just like a restaurant? You just encourage them to go, play any yeah, games? Yeah, they or have to. And, and because it sets up, you know, know a bad habit yeah. if they're uncomfortable only going in their own home. Now IBS, the irritable bowel syndrome, that seems like such a grown-up problem but it does yeah. affect kids too? It does affect kids and if your child feels severe stomach pain when they're going to the bathroom and that could be constipation or diarrhea and then they feel better afterwards that's probably what's going on and mm -hmm. kids um, can outgrow it about a third of them do but others have the rest have symptoms into and adulthood. Stress is a component in that mm -hmm. for yeah, kids. Definitely, that's, uh, yeah. yeah definitely stress can make it worse and we know from studies that stress reduction actually does help uh, children and even adults with IBS as well. Too. So at what point in all of this do we need your, your child to see a specialist? Right, so a gastroenterologist is this GI specialist. Mm -hmm. And really, if your child is having uh, ongoing symptoms that aren't yeah. getting better, mm -hmm. um, if they're having blood in their stools, yeah. if they're even having issues like weight loss or even falling off their growth curves, mm -hmm. um, yeah. things like that, then it's important then to see a gastroenterologist for further testing. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies. Well, thank you thank so you. much. We really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. All right, coming up tomorrow. Tomorrow we got...